Lockhart, and today I am going to be telling you how to take care of your American Girl doll. This seems like a very obvious thing, but really it's not, and you have to be very careful with them because they're so expensive, and you don't want to waste your money on them. So, these are just my tips and what have personally worked for me. Um, and yeah, let's get started. First of all, is never bend your doll in any way that is harmful to their limbs. Next is wash your doll's hair only if it's necessary. You can dry your doll's hair out and it's not exactly the best for them, but like you can do it, it's not bad. Um, for example, I, watch, I wash Elise's hair if her curls are kind of getting like dull and then it fluffs them up again. So like in that case, it's okay. Next is don't brush your doll's hair too much because it will create split ends and dryness. I made this mistake with Madeline. I brushed her hair so much that her hair is very dry now. Use a spray bottle when you brush your doll's hair and start from the bottom, go to the top. If you start from the top, you're just pulling all the knots down and it will create a huge knot that it's going to be really hard to get out of your doll's hair. So use a spray bottle because it will make brushing through it much smoother and easier and that way you won't pull so much hair out. Okay, so. Now I'm going to show you the three different types of hair that AG dolls have. So right here I have straight haired and wavy hair, or curly haired, but there's also a wavy haired doll, but you take care of it the same way as you take care of a curly haired doll, so I'm just gonna show you that. For straight haired dolls, just brush their hair out from the bottom, go to the top, use water, it will make it easier. For curly hair, I recommend finger curling like this. Um, it just creates a really pretty curl and it's super easy. Shout out to Genevieve for being in this video. Next is to be very careful about dropping your doll because they get scuffs and marks very easily. Especially when you're taking photo shoots, if the wind starts to pick up, hold on to your doll until the wind stops because if she falls, you can guarantee a scuff, especially a nose. The nose is a very good place where scuffs like to appear, so be very careful about that. Next is to always use a wig wire brush, and I cannot stress this enough. Their hair is wigs, and if you use a regular brush on it, there's gonna get oils in their hair that will make it dry, and let me show you what happened to Madeline after I used a wig, or not a non-wig wire brush. As you can see, her ends are super dry. That's all because I used a non-wig wire brush on her. Do not do it, you will regret it very much. Of course I still love Madeline, but I wish she had soft and smooth hair like she used to. Next is if your doll's vinyl happens to get dirty or has scuffs, use a magic eraser to safely remove them. Um, you don't have to spend money to send them to the doll hospital. I always recommend trying to remove scuffs or stains or marks yourself before you hand it over to the doll hospital because the doll hospital takes so long to give your dolls back and it's not worth the money, it's so expensive. So just try first, but of course, if you really think it's a big issue, then send it to the doll hospital. Lastly is to never get water in your doll's eyes. Obviously, you probably know this one, it will rust their outer rims and then they won't be able to blink or you know, open their eyes or whatever. It's just bad for them, and you also try not to get the cloth dirty, although there are ways that you can fix it if you do. Obviously, it's not a big deal, but it's best for them not to get them wet in any kind of way, um, except for the hair. So that was all. I hope you guys found this helpful, and um, that's basically it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!